this is what we're going to be designing in today's video you see how to do insert border we insert test post and a whole lot of other things make sure you stay to the end up to the end of this video so that you get every bit every bit of the details that i'm going to share with you in this video let's dive into the video without wasting time first of all i will do my page setting by setting your page you can set your page from page layouts go to page layout then go to margin go to margin i'll say customize custom margin so i'll click on custom margin here i can change the orientation of my paper from portrait to landscape because what we are doing is in landscape so i'll change the paper orientation then now i can change the margin i work on the margin the margin now is at one inch but i'll take it to half an inch which is 0 0.5 so i'll make it 0 0.5 on all sides 0 0.5 on all sides I want you to take note of this zooming effect on Microsoft Word. So if you notice this arrow here, I can move it up and down. You see my, my page going, zooming out and zooming in. So take note of this one. This is where you zoom to see your object clearer. So we may, we'll be making use of this zoom a lot in this video. So the first thing I'll do is to insert my border. So I'll take my border. I already have my border in my system. So I'll insert the border. I'll go to wrap test. I'll push it to front. So now I can adjust every side till I'm satisfied. So I adjust every side till I'm satisfied. Up and down. Let's take it. Let's zoom. Let's zoom out. All right, I'm okay here. So next, I will insert my logo. Make sure you are tagging along with me by doing each of these exercises you are getting in each of the video for you to get more perfect. The more you are doing it, that is the only way you get perfect in doing it. So at the end of this video, I want everyone watching me to, to at least do work on your something, work on something, and I'll be glad to see, I'll be glad to see what you have done. So hit me up on the, on the comment section, then I will we'll talk. You see, in the next subsequent videos, I believe I'll show you how to show, save it to Google Drive, and I'll be so glad to see your submitted work. Next, I will insert my, I will insert test boss. So if you take note, we have inserted objects. Now we are inserting test boss. This is test boss. So my test boss, if you know this, this test boss, is covering this thing. In other words, this test boss have colored, is colored. But I don't need the colored. Don't need the color and I don't need the outline. So what I will do, I will remove, go to shape, no fill shape outline no outline i don't need it all i need is this so i'll move i will now select and type my test this is you can color this test if you wish if you wish to color it you can do coloring if you want to color this test you can easily go to format then you format your field same thing you format your field if you do you can you can just explore explore do your thing make sure you're working trying things out for a little bit so that you can be improving as we are tagging along because we'll be making after this video we'll be making another i will be happy to see your 
your comments, your your work that you have finished in the comment section so that it, it will give me a whole lot of encouragement by making more videos. So now the next thing I will do is to insert word art. I have inserted a logo which is an image. I have inserted text box. Next now I'm inserting word art. So I'll go to as usual I'll go to insert tab and I'll come to my word art. Word art. I can pick any of this one. I think I'm okay with this one. So can I adjust the way I want it? This is where I want it. You can stretch. You make adjustment as you want, as you as you are satisfied, you are satisfied. So I'll tell this is certificate. Okay, I will light and I'll go back to home tab. Now I'll just choose my forms. I think uh, okay, I think this is the font. Yes. I'll increase it. We can increase it by just dropping down this arrow, then take the size you want. Just you know, do your thing till you get the size you want. Okay. In case you are confused about anything, leave your comments in the comment section and I'll be glad, I'll be happy to, to get back to you as soon as I can. So take note, we have fill, we have fill and we have add line, but I'm not going to do it here. So I'll go to format, I'll go to format, then see fill, this is the fill, this is the fill, then this is the add line, add line, guys, yes, this is it, I think it's getting better so I can increase my font more. Don't worry, I'll bring the shortcut for you to get this increase. I'm using a shortcut to increase it. So I'll, I'll pop out the shortcut for you. Now, I want to duplicate this, this write-up because it's close to what I want to do under here. So I can just, it will be easier for me to make adjustments. So what I'll do is I'll press my shift, my control key, and I'll type certificate of achievement of achievement note see what I, the shortcut i'm using to increase it you see the coily bracket the coily bracket is just after the P, the letter P, you see coily bracket. So I hold my control key down. I hold my control key, hold my control key, and strike that coily bracket facing left with the control P to reduce it. Then control P with the coily bra bracket facing right, I will strike it to increase. That is the shortcut to either increase or decrease our font in microsoft word so next i have line i will insert line just straight line i think i have some more straight line here little straight line then i'll color it as usual i'll use this this outline color i'll increase the width so i'll make the width let's say two points two points is okay then i believe you if you are following up with my videos you should know how to duplicate this line to the other side so i'll give you some minutes one two three okay let's do it i just hope you got it right so i'll do it i'll hold my shift and move it Now, if you are finding this, this difficult, you can always copy and paste. By the time you select this line, copy it and paste, you now have two. So you move one of it to the other side, it's still the same thing. 
whichever one is quicker for you you can use it so now i still need a test bus here i can also duplicate this one as usual we hold our control key down and start moving we hold our shift to make it straight so i'm good with this one so i'll just type um, adjust it i believe if you are following up our videos you should be able to know how to adjust make it bold make it italics you know just play with it the way you want so I, again i hold my control key down and the coily bracket facing right to increase it that's what i'm doing so i can equally color it you can you can pick a color make your choice adjust so you can adjust now i want to have a straight line a straight line so what i'll do next i will insert click my line then i'll draw my line straight line straight line here straight line here okay as usual you know what to do from here i believe you know what to do we can increase it so i'll just increase it for me to see it clearer So this is it now i can increase my line you can increase it from here which 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 so i will use our user color this is my color next i can still duplicate this test boss so i will still duplicate it i'll hold my control you see the plus the little plus there coming up so to make it straight i'll add my shift so i'll push it down this is it this is it you can use your arrow to adjust this test bus till you get to where you want but you can also use your mouse to move it around So you notice the shortcuts i'm using now the next thing we are going to do we have a a stamp here so i'm going to bring in the stamp as usual so i go to insert i'll go to insert then i'll insert my stamp insert this is stamp so i'll bring it forward see what i'll do i will leave you know if you look at this 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 is the certificate i have a line here and i have a right up down i have a line here and i have a right up down so i will leave that one to you submit it in the comment section below so this is what we have next thing i will insert the logo and put the watermark that we have here so i'll go back to insert click insert the logo this is the logo i'll push it up for me to be able to edit it so i'll push it up and increase i'll increase the size till i get to where i'm going so this is it now i'll go to color this is what i'm using this is the watermark i'm using so the next thing i'll do is just artistic effects i'll add artistic effects so this blow is okay for me so i'll take this one yes after now i'll take it to back of the test i'll take it to back of test behind behind test behind test so that you can see the right up see this is it 
It's beautiful. Beautiful. This is what we have. This is what we have. Next, I will insert there's a line, a rectangular line covering this box. So we bring out that line. I'll go to insert once more. I'll insert basic shape. I'll insert basic shape rectangle. I'll take rectangle and drag it through. Drag it through. I'll adjust it. Here. Okay. So I need the outline, but I don't need the fill. So what I'll do, I'll remove the fill. No fill. I need outline. I need outline and I need it thick. So I'll make it thick. Yes, the width at 1% is okay by me. Okay. Okay, guys, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment in the comment section below. We'll see you again in the next video.